Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be doing an island tour of the island of summer by my friend Sun Sun over on Instagram. I will link their Instagram down in the description below as well as list the dream address. If you would like to come and visit this island for yourself, this is a stunning Japanese style island. From what I saw from resident services to the entrance, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now I am going to tell you this is going to be a wide angle dream address tour and the reason for that is because I came in with a wide angle camera to take some pictures then I came back with a regular camera and I realized that this island in particular shows really well with a wide angle camera so I would like to show you the magnificent views. Let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is this entrance. Look at this. This is absolutely majestic and magnificent. It is so beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen an entrance quite like this one. It's absolutely stunning. We have loads of bamboo here because, you know, it is an Asian themed island. So I would expect to see bamboo down here. We have the campsite. It's looking beautiful and natural. I love the hedges on the beach to make it look like, um, their, you know, bushes. Yeah. Hi, I speak English. And then if we go along this way, we can make our way to resident services. There's a cute little seating area right here. And then down here, there's a beautiful little pond sort of walkway. It's very like watery and I don't know, tropical in a very Asian kind of way. And then I love this path with the stepping stones in it. It's just really, really nice. Hey, hello. So there is a character. I don't understand their name, but they look a little like Chase Crossing. We're going to go this way over here. This little path with the skipping stones is so cute. It is so creative and so cute. I love it. And this is where I landed in here for resident services. So this is the resident services area. It's absolutely beautiful. Just like everything that Sun Sun makes. It is so beautiful. We're going to make our way up towards the front so I can show you this little area up here. And this area is so cute. Again, with the skipping stones. I love them. And then the little koi pond. And then we have a real view of resident services. So this is what we're working with over here. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I love these Karopi walls as walls. That's so good. And it's such a great way to to like not waste custom codes. And then we have this little like trail thing over here, like this covered walkway. Yes, I know covered path. I, I, yeah, I get it. It's beautiful. And I always love buildings that are made with the Azumaya gazebo. They're just always top tier for me. I love them. I'm going to go around to the front beach on the left because it looks like there's things going on over there. I love this little stone path. It is very, very Asian. So pretty. We have the tailors over here. This is a great place for the tailors. Oh my gosh. And it was made to fit in the surroundings, of course. It's absolutely beautiful. So pretty. Everything in this island is so pretty. I love all of these things against the water. Wow. And then there is a, a house up here. I don't know if that's a resident house. Oh, I it might be. It is a resident house. Very cool. I know all of the houses are decorated. Um, let's go into a couple, but I don't think I'm going to go into all of them for the sake of time. If you would like to see all of them, feel free to go to the dream address. Absolutely. Check it out. See what's going on. This is like a hot spring situation. Wow. That's pretty darn cool so neat and then over here we have a little spa eating area oh that little window 
on the wall right there is perfection. The butterflies, everything looks so good. It really does feel like an outdoor terrace. If we go into this room right here, oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. Wow, I can't do this. I am not an interior designer and this is so good. Down here we have like a more typical spa situation, like a hot bathroom. Oh, wow. It's so cool. And I love this stone floor right here. It just looks really good. Everything looks so good over here. And up here, too, you can enjoy, like, I don't know, a spa in the clouds. Cloud spa. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. It's like a rooftop oasis. But in the mountains, I don't know. It's beautiful. It's very majestic. I love the custom design that's on those festival lanterns. It makes me like the festival lanterns. I love how I'm always learning new things about this game. I didn't actually know the festival lanterns were customizable. And I never used them because of that. I wasn't like a huge fan of all of the designs that came in it. And now I absolutely love it and I want to put it everywhere. This little walkway right here with the Karopi lanterns. Can we just talk about that for a minute? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And the character behind me is super adorable. Oh, I love them. I want to live on one of her islands. I wonder if I can convince her to make me a character on one of her islands. What would she, what would she design me as? This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this neighborhood is beautiful. I love it. Oh, I love these houses. They go so well. So nice. Let's keep going back a little bit because there's more neighborhood over here. Very, very pretty. I love these like neighborhood situations. And there's a little farm in the back. That's super creative. Very cute. I love that. I'm one of those decorators too, where like if there's a chance that someone can see it, I'm going to put something there just in case. I also love the way that water down there matches the actual in-game water. So those waterfalls actually look like they're feeding into those ponds right there. It looks so good with the little duck pond. Everything looks amazing. So this is the museum. Wow. Just wow. I, I think that is the golden little head thing and it's turned backwards, which I've never thought to do. And now I'm learning so many new things. I love this island. I love doing dream address tours because I'm always learning things. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So pretty really makes me want to do a Japanese style island. So pretty. And then up here we have a little uh, market of sorts. What, what do we have on the ground? Let's pick these up. I love the custom code with the little masks right here. That's super cute. What's here? Oh, we have sparklers. It's like a little festival. I love it. A lantern. And some bubble blowers. Oh my gosh, I do love that. That's awesome. Let's go down the stairs and see what's going on over here. We just have like a natural beach. I'm here for that. And the peninsula. Oh, I love this peninsula. You guys, if you need peninsula ideas, here you go. This is your girl right here. So good. And then it's guarding a shrine, which is actually in a lot of temples with shrines. Um, I have seen like little um, posts to guard the shrines. And I have seen that quite a bit. So it makes sense. So this is a donation box to go into the shrine, which is awesome. I love that. 
And then the view from inside the shrine is a perfection. Look at how beautiful it is. And Gladys is here to pay her respects or to remember somebody. I have no idea, but look at how appropriate she looks. I'm breaking the illusion. No, there's a fishing boat in front of the museum. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. This right here was such a great idea with the chair, the sleigh, the stalls. I love that. That is amazing and awesome. Wow. Okay, so now I'm back up where I'm actually supposed to walk. Okay, so there is a ladder right here, and I do believe we are meant to enjoy this view right here. It's absolutely beautiful. We get a glimpse of the museum on one side and the villager houses on the other. I love that they have their own individuality still, so that's really cool. So we're back at resident services because I wanted to go back to the left, excuse me, snake. And we're going to head on back to this villager neighborhood. I want to see how it was done. I love all of the purples that I'm seeing and the blues. I love them with the orangey reds. So good. And look at how it was designed. It's so cozy and intimate and beautiful. I love that. Look at this tunnel. Wow. It, may, it feels so enclosed. Let me get a view from inside. And there's Pico. Oh, my gosh. So Pico, Pico is joining me in here. But this is so cool when you look at it from here and then you just run through it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So neat. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Am I completely stuck? I think I am. Okay. So all of these houses have have their own little personality, even though they are um, packed so close together. This one has some fish outside. Um, this one has like a little goldfish, but it has like a little garden wagon. There's one with fruit boxes outside and a clothesline. So they do still maintain a little bit of individuality. And then here is where their boats are getting ready to launch off of the back. I do love that the right and the left sides all have little gardens. Those are super nice as well. And then I think if we come up here, there is a view we're meant to get of this area. Yes, there is. Okay. Okay, so there is a view we're meant to get of this area down here, and it is so cool. So neat. It is beautiful, this view down here. Miss Pico fits in just perfectly. Okay, so let's make our way back up towards the front, and then we'll come towards the back again. We're kind of like zigzagging our way through the island. This little pathway is a beautiful. All of the hydrangeas in blue look stunning. We have a little area to have some tea right here. I love that. We are directly to the left of the entrance for just for, you know, context. And it looks like such a cute little nook. I love that. So I'm going to go down to the entrance. And if I would have gone left instead of right, we would have come to this little bridge moment. I always love a good bridge moment. I'm such a sucker for these. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I love all of the bamboo speakers throughout the island. If you decide to come for yourself, you'll hear that there's Asian music playing everywhere. All of the KK, Oriental, and Asian music is playing throughout the island. It sets the mood. It's so good. And then if we come around the front right here, we have another home of a resident. It looks absolutely amazing. This looks like a little tourist area right here with magazines and food. Or maybe it's like a little bakery. I don't know. It looks really cute, though, and I love that. I love this terraforming right here on the river mouth. This is perfection with the rock garden right there and the... Um, outdoor bath. It looks absolutely stunning. That is a very well done rock garden. If you need ideas for rock gardens, here you go. This is absolutely amazing. It's perfection. 
And then over here, we have this uh, resident house. It was done so well, so good. Absolutely beautiful. I have no idea what I'm gonna use for a thumbnail for this island. Everything is so good. Okay, so let's continue along this way. We have Nook's Cranny on the beach and it looks so good here. It looks like a fish and tackle kind of shop with the crabs and all of the little boats right over here. Super cute. There's some boats docked in the back, which looks super appropriate. I love that building right behind them. It looks so good with the brown and the green. That looks beautiful. If we go around to back, there's a little pathway back here that we can make our way through. This is so good. Oh my gosh. You know, my friend right now is doing an Asian themed island. Um, this has all of the inspiration for the type of island that she is doing as well. Okay, so really quick, I want to go up this beach over here and just see what's going on, if there's anything. Oh, look, a little tea area. This is so cute. I love using this outdoor bath on the rocks. It makes so much sense. I don't do it so often because I always forget. And then I look at it every time I go to an island and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so appropriate. And then back at the rocks, there's like another tiny little memorial over there. Nothing crazy or extravagant, but it looks super cute and very appropriate. I heard that this island took a really long time to make, and 100% I believe that. This island looks like it was a project. We have a little duck pond right here with the little ducks. They're so cute. And this diagonal tunnel. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Okay, so leading over here, which is really cool, it looks really good, but the perspective build on this is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen it done quite this way. It looks stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this belongs everywhere. It's beautiful. Behind the house on the beach, if you climb up, you can see a view of this sunken river right here. Again, absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. You just don't see things like this everywhere. And then over on the other side, I love the little suspension bridge. It looks super cute. It's so good. It's just so good. And then we're going to take this path around here. Wow. You guys, did I mention how good she is? This is so good. Let's keep going around this way. Okay, so around the other side, there is a set of bridges, and then there's this little area right here that looks so cool. I have to show it to you. It looks so cool. All of the reds and the greens, it looks, it looks so good. And then we're gonna go over these bridges. Wow. This is so cool. And to go up the stairs right here. I have no idea what's up here. Oh, we have that residence house. <gasps> oh gosh, that's so cool. And do you guys notice the little beds right there creating the picture in this view? This is stunning. Oh my goodness. Everything, everything about this is perfect. The way the rocks around the koi pond on the bottom look are so good as well. Oh my gosh, everything looks so good. It looks almost like the rocks are coming up and cradling the little koi fish. And that is so beautiful. Let's go around this way. I love the way all of these Bridges were used. Wow. Okay, so we're going to hop across over here. I am terrible at hop hops, you guys. But we're going to hop over and we're going to climb this ladder and see what's going on over here. So this area right here was created to give a perspective on the house. And I don't even know what to say. There are not enough words in my vocabulary to describe how I feel about this build right here. This is the most majestical build I've ever seen, ever, in my entire life. Like, wow. Okay, so now I must go inside this house. I have to. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over there. 
Oh my goodness, this is the first time I've ever come into a house and seen an actual human in here. Oh, I wish I knew what you said. Oh, I feel like we have an error in communication, but look at this interior. I've never seen anything like this. Is it haunted? So it's like a shrine. It seems like maybe it might be a little bit haunted. Wow. It's so spooky and creepy and cool. It's like a haunted museum. Okay, it's definitely a shrine, but it feels a little eerie compared to the rest of the island. This took so much imagination. So this is definitely a memorial. My brain just doesn't brain like this. This is a whole other level. Oh my goodness. It looks almost like there's something coming up from down below and it looks like there's another floor below um that and there's like an empty space in between the stage or the shrine area and where we are standing which is such a cool illusion oh my gosh i'm so glad you guys can't see my face during these tours because i think i just sat here with my mouth open the entire time Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so perfect. Wow. That's it. But look at the graveyard back there. Oh wow. Let's get out of this one. Any basements I go into are always really spooky. So this one is up in the mountains. The orthonopter birds are so cool. I've never yet learned to use the shine tool in order to make like such cool effects yet. I do have to work on that because her special effects game is on point and I'm inspired. I love the way that balloon over there looks like the moon in the corner. The illusion going on here is so good. Okay, so that was it, my friends. I can't think of a better place to end today's tour than right here. This was absolutely stunning. So many surprises on the island. Everywhere you go is a picture and a view. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you come to tour this island, it's absolutely beautiful. Please go give Rain Song a follow over on Instagram. What they're doing over there is absolutely gorgeous and amazing. They're definitely deserving of a follow. Hopefully you guys like this. I know you guys could be doing anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a little bit of your time here with me on this beautiful island. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.